back to Frankie's Forest, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my Hoya plant's new bloom. So I'm super excited about this. I figured I would make a dedicated video just because of how perfect these flowers are. I don't know what it is, but they kind of just make like a perfect shape, all of them. They're just like so uniform in the way that they budded and, and uh, opened up. This has never happened to me before in the many, many years that this plant has been alive. So they kind of, I haven't touched them, but I've read that they kind of have a, like a wax coating on them. They also look kind of f uh, furry. It's like a larger star and then a little star in the inside and then an even smaller star. And so I don't want to touch these because of how delicate they look. So I'm just going to look at them without touching them. Um... But as you guys can see, these flowers are super nice. And I was doing some research on how you can have Hoya flowers like this. So to have, uh, to have Hoya, for Hoyas to have flowers, you need to keep them well watered. They need to be in uh, nice sunlight as well as have um, nice uh, nutritious soil. So they need to have fertilizer in soil. Now, like I said before, one of the reasons why my Hoya was doing so well was because it wasn't being fertilized, but then I realized that the only way for it to really have flowers is for it to be fertilized. So if you want flowers, fertilize it. If you just want to have the nice look of a vining Hoya, then there isn't really any need to fertilize it. Along with this flower, I also have another one growing right there. So it's going to be two on this one vine, and I am on the lookout for any others that are on this plant. However, I don't see any. So guys, if you do need more information on how to care for Hoyas, please check that video out on my channel. Um, and other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.